Hey Leo, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. We're here today for a tarot love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, as well as any of you lovely cross watchers who are dealing with a Leo romantically. So this is a tarot love reading. It is a timeless reading. So whenever you click into this video is when you're meant to hear the messages. I'm going to pull some tarot cards today and possibly some oracle cards to see what's going on. But do keep in mind, Leo, that these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate. It's possible that some of it connects for you, some of it doesn't. I really just invite you to take what works and just leave anything that really doesn't fit for you in your circumstances. So we're going to jump right in. What is coming towards Leo? What is coming towards Leo right now in love? Okay. Queen of Pentacles, you could have an earth sign approaching you. Page of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So, Leo, my sense is that there is somebody here who is very interested in you romantically. Now, if you're a single Leo, I think that you've got somebody here who is going to be very flirty with you, uh, very fun. I will say that for some of you with this Three of Pentacles energy, this could be somebody from uh, your friendship circle. I do feel that this is possibly a friendship that's turning into something more romantic. There's somebody here, though, who's showing up in this pretty solid energy. I feel like this is somebody who is stable, reliable, somebody who you can count on, somebody who always has your back. If you're in a relationship, this could be your current partner. Uh, but let's find out more about what's going on. So tell me about this Queen of Pentacles energy here. Two of Pentacles. Oh, Two of Swords and the Empress. So we've got two twos here. I feel like there's somebody who you're dealing with right now who's really focused on their finances. And I think that they're working on building up their finances so that they can provide for you within a relationship. And it could be that a lot of their time and attention and focus right now is being pulled towards their career, their money making, uh, how they're building stability within their life. They could be juggling a lot on their plate right now. So you could definitely find that this person is um, a bit distracted. Um, I think it's because they're trying to build. They're trying to build. They're trying to create stability within their life. They do have a lot of love for you. But I also feel like with that two of swords energy, I feel like they might not be ready. Like if this is somebody who you're in a relationship right now, they might not be quite ready to take a significant next step in your relationship because they might feel like they still need to build up their financial resources before taking that step. So if you're at a place where you're wanting to get married, they might be delaying an engagement a little bit because they want to build up their financial resources. If you're thinking of buying property, again, they might be working toward building up their financial resources. So if you're dealing with somebody and there is that strong commitment between the two of you, I do think that this person is in a place where they are trying to build that security and stability because they want to be able to provide that for you. Um, but I'm picking up on like some sort of delay here, like something might be a little bit delayed because they need to sort out their finances or their career before taking the next step. OK, uh, tell me about this page of wands energy, please. The death card, the page of cups and the five of pentacles. So the death card indicates some sort of ending. I mean, did some of you guys break up with this person or are you going um, through a breakup with this person? Like, I'm almost wondering now if maybe you felt like there was a delay within this connection and maybe you pulled back and now this person is coming in and they're trying to explain to you what was going on. I do think that this person has a lot of love for you, but I'm picking up on you maybe not feeling as confident within the connection and you may have ended things or maybe threatened to end things because you couldn't figure out how things were moving forward, especially if this person was showing up at all within the Two of Swords energy. It may have felt like a very indecisive energy. It may have felt like the two of you have reached some sort of stalemate in terms of an important decision. And I think that it is possible that you started to pull back your energy a bit because you've started to question like, okay, so is this ever going to happen? I think what you're wondering, Leo, is 
you know, is this person, you know, legitimately working on the things that they say that they're working on so that we can build a future together? Or is this excuses because this person is stringing me along and isn't going to commit? That's what I kind of intuitively feel your headspace is at. And I do think that you're withdrawing from this connection because you're trying to figure out, is there a future here? Especially if you feel like your person has not been actively taking the next step with you. Okay. Um, so what is this three of pentacles energy here? What is this three of pentacles? Queen of Wands, the Star card, and the Moon. I really feel like this person doesn't want you to walk away here, Leo. So if you are feeling frustrated, if you do pull back your energy, I do think that their inclination here is going to be to try to heal it. My sense with that moon energy is honestly that they're going to be like a little bit confused about where this is coming from. Like, I think they're just moving along, you know, doing what they can to build up their resources, their career, all that stuff. And it might not have even like been apparent to them that you've been potentially feeling frustrated with some sort of lack of progress within the relationship. And so with the moon energy, I'm actually feeling that as them trying to figure out what you've been feeling, what you've been thinking, and what's been going on for you that's caused you to experience this frustration within the relationship. And I do feel strongly that they want to work through this. So it could be that you bring up this conversation where you're like, I'm feeling frustrated. I don't know, you know, like it feels like we're at a bit of a standstill in the relationship and I don't know what that means. And I think that your person is going to try to fix this. Like, I think they're going to listen to you. I think they're going to try to heal this. Okay. Um, so tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. Ten of Swords, the Hermit, and the Sun. Okay. I will also say for some of you, Leo, that maybe this person has been holding back a bit in your relationship because they've been very badly hurt before in a past relationship. So I do get a little bit of a potential fear of commitment. Maybe they've been married before. Maybe they did, you know, take some big steps within a past relationship and it didn't work out. So even though they do feel very happy with you, I am seeing like a little bit of this cautious energy showing up for them. And it's the result of something that happened to them in the past that really hurt them. And I feel like that's my, what might be leading to a little bit of... Um, potential hesitation here within this connection. But on the other hand, I do think that they're they're very happy with you, but I I do I do see your concern. Like I do think that this person has you can feel they've been pulling back. It's kind of it's an intuitive thing, right? Like I could see you going to your friends and being like, "I feel that they're really pulling back." And your friends are like, "Tell me exactly what they did." And you're like, it's not really something exact that they did. I just feel like there's something different and I feel like they've kind of been pulling away. And I think you're right, but you might not understand exactly why, okay? Okay, uh, so what is this person's hopes and fears? What is this person's hopes and fears? Eight of Wands, the Emperor, and the Seven of Pentacles. Like, they hope that the two of you are gonna move past this situation, but I do think they also are fearful that you might decide to no longer invest in this connection. I mean, they're hoping that you guys can continue to move forward. I do feel like if that's the case, like they're going to need to explain to you why you're feeling this energy of um, like them pulling back or this stagnation within the connection. So they are going to have to provide an explanation. And I do think they want to talk about that. I don't feel like this person is trying to be evasive. I really don't get that, Leo. Like, I don't think that they're messing with you. I just think that either, like I said in the beginning, maybe they're really focused on their career. Or maybe they're really focused on building up their resources. And so from their perspective, they're just trying to build, I'm hearing like an empire. <laughs> I don't know. They're trying to like build an empire um, so that the two of you can have a beautiful life together. Or yeah, it is possible that maybe they have been burned in the past and as the two of you progress this relationship, maybe there are some fears coming up for them and, and maybe they haven't acknowledged those fears yet, right? So it feels complex, but it doesn't feel like they're not into this, if that makes sense. Okay, so tell me about Leo. Where is Leo at with this? Six of Cups, 
the Six of Wands and the Four of Swords. Yeah, so I mean, this is somebody who you have a lot of history with. Um, it's kind of interesting. Like, I just keep picking up on friend vibes. I don't know. I don't know if you guys were set up through friends or if you're meeting this person now, you could be getting set up through your friendship network. There's a lot of history, though, between you and this person. There is a big part of you that does see the potential for success within this relationship. But you're in that four of swords energy again, where it's like you're kind of like withdrawing. You're trying to figure out, OK, but where are we in this connection? What are we doing? Are we moving forward? What exactly is happening here? Because I think you just don't want to be stuck in a situation that you feel is not going anywhere. So what are Leo's hopes and fears in this situation? Nine of Pentacles, the Magician and the Seven of Wands. I feel like your fears are that it might not work out because I do I do think you're in this, Leo. I think you're just annoyed by what's going on. I do think you're scared that like things could fall apart and not work out. But I think what you're hoping beyond anything is that this person just kind of opens up and tells you what's going on and makes it clear that they do want a future with you. I really just think all you need, all you need in this situation is this person to really provide you with an explanation of what's going on. I think you need reassurance, okay? I think you need this person to like really directly give you the reassurance that you need to know that you guys are still moving forward and that this relationship is still progressing because right now it feels like you are you're possibly making up some stories or assumptions about what's going on with this person and it's making you doubt the connection. So I, I think you you need to figure out what's really going on. OK, so what's the advice? What's the advice for Leo here? What's the advice? Two of Cups, <laughs> Five of Wands and the High Priestess. I feel like you just got to hash it out, honestly. This to me looks like there is a soulmate connection, a strong connection between the two of you. So, you know, if you're feeling frustrated, I feel like the five of wands is just saying like, hash it out, lay it all out on the line, get your frustrations out on the table and have that conversation with your person about where you stand and what you want. I think you got to hash it out. I don't know if you've been like holding back, Leo, or didn't want to talk about this. Um, I feel like we do this sometimes where we don't have an important conversation because we don't want to know the answer, right? I don't know if that's the case, but that's what came to mind, Leo. But I do think there is very, very strong soul connection between you and this person, but you just got to like lay it out on the line and hash out what this issue is. So what's the potential outcome then? What's the potential outcome here? Seven of Cups, the Lovers, and the Six of Swords. Interesting. So the outcome here suggests that there is a decision that needs to be made about the future of your relationship. It kind of looks to me with the Seven of Cups energy, Leo, that you're still going to be feeling confused about this situation and you're still going to be trying to figure out, like, do I stay or do I go? Unfortunately, in the outcome, it's not necessarily looking like you're getting the exact clarity you need right at this moment. But tell me more about this Seven of Cups. Two of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands. I think you guys are going to have to talk about this several times. Like, I don't think that the very first conversation that you have is necessarily going to give you the clarity that you need in this situation. With that Two of Wands, it's almost like you're going to have a conversation with them, but you're still not going to be totally clear on where they stand and what they want. I don't know if this person you're dealing with is like not the best communicator, you guys. <laughs> like, I don't know. But I do I do think that you're feeling very confused about where things are going. And yeah, you're going to have to like make a decision about what you want to do. It's weighing really, really heavily on your mind. I think this is something that is causing you a lot of stress and it's a big emotional burden for you to have to deal with. Um, and I, I think this is going to involve several discussions because I just feel like the first time you talk to this person or maybe the first, second, third time you talk to them, like, I don't know. I feel like you're not going to get the clarity you need necessarily right off the bat and maybe that in and of itself gives you the answer you need. Or maybe this is something where you guys have to go back and forth and just try to like hash it out a little bit more. Um, what is this Ace of Swords? What is this Ace of Swords here? I'm like, 
I'm like, is this person going to mess things up with you because they can't communicate clearly about what they want? That's what I'm starting to worry a little bit about now, Leo. What is this Ace of Swords? Eight of Swords, Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles. It's like, I don't think you're going to stay in this indefinitely if you're not getting what you need. Like if you start to feel like you're trapped in a situation that's not leading towards what you want in a relationship, I, I think you're going to move away from it. But again, it's like, if you decide to move away from that situation, I do think this person is going to keep trying to like pull you back in and explain themselves. It just feels kind of complicated. So it feels like it's something to do with like your person and how they're uh, communicating. And maybe they're just in a place right now where they don't have a lot of clarity about where they're at. Maybe they're going through some personal stuff. But at the end of the day, you need to do what's best for you. That's my perspective. You need to do what's best for you. So Hash it out, see where you guys land, and then decide what the next steps are within this connection, okay? All right, I'm gonna leave it there, Leo. If you enjoyed this reading, you know what to do. Please give me a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, tell all your Leo friends out there about my channel, and of course, I wish you guys so much love and happiness, and we'll talk again very, very soon, Leo. Bye, guys.